The threat of surprise nuclear attack initiated a concern within the United States for an improved defense. The front line of vigilance against such an attack was SAGE, a computer so big that people worked inside of it. Our story begins here on the screens of SAGE. Each direction center will house two computers. While one computer is working, the other is also receiving data and can take over the full air defense load in a matter of seconds. The air defense system computers, the SAGES, had uh, something over a hundred cathode ray tubes in each of the big blockhouses that were used for seeing the whole air battle situation and all the individual pieces of it separately so that each each particular interception could be controlled by a person who's looking at the radar data superimposed on map data superimposed on the position of where the friendly forces are. The operator sat at a console and at a 45 degree angle was a 19 inch circular CRT with a row of buttons down the side and then some more buttons and switches here and a keyboard there and a light pin with which he could identify particular points on the CRT. There was a full duplex vacuum tube system at a time when the vacuum tube technology was not phenomenally reliable. In other words, you might have a part fail every 15 or 20 minutes. One of the most exciting is the medical application of Henry Fuchs' team in which they are trying to give the surgeon the ability to see fused in the head mounted display not only the real live patient in front of them, but also the information being derived by ultrasound or magnetic resonance imaging at the same time. So as the surgeon puts a needle in a breast to do a biopsy, he sees the ultrasound image of the cyst and the ultrasound image of the needle down in the patient instead of having to look at another screen on the wall to try to see what's happening while he's manipulating the needle in the patient. It has taken 50 years of innovation to bring us here. It is the dawn of a new millennium, and the next chapter in our story is being written by a new generation of pioneers. A generation that never knew a world without computer graphics. I think we're kind of in the position of uh, Moses on Mount Nebo. We can look over into the promised land and we can see it laid out there and it's so close, but we're not there yet. Mm -hmm.